What's going on guys? So we are back with another video on the channel. So today I decided that I would do a little chat to you about deloading. Now this is a very important aspect of training and programming and if you don't have deload weeks then I suggest you do in fact start doing them because they're very beneficial. They can help you improve so much long term and yeah they're just important. So I'm going to go over how you do a deload week, why you would do a deload week, when you would do a deload week, and then kind of just sprinkled across all three of those is um, like benefits of like why a deload week is good for you and what it will do and help you achieve long term. Why would you do a deload week? Actually, no, I'm going to start with when. I feel like it's a little bit of a better transition as I go along the video. We'll find out. When would you do a deload week? A deload week, I... I I would recommend putting after a period of high intense training. Now, I used to take rest weeks, so I would literally have a week off from the gym, and that's absolutely fine if you want to do that. I've kind of come away from that a little bit in recent months and decided to just do deloads rather than rest weeks. I used to have one every, say, 10 to 12 weeks. I've had a couple of deload weeks about six weeks apart in the last couple of months so more often and I've been training pretty hard for months at a time and I felt good for it so the deload weeks in my opinion are very very useful and they have helped me massively so you would do one after a period of high intense training whether that be a four week block six week block 12 week block of lifting heavy often or a training block of high volume at a high weight or multiple sessions a day for a certain period of time Overall, as long as the training you've been doing has just been super hard and tough, that a deload week where you can fit it in, so at the end of a program or mid middle of a program or after a competition, coming up to a competition, somewhere where you want to peak, can be very beneficial. So why would you use it? So effectively, a deload is, there's, so how you can, oh, why you would use it, it's a terrible thing. I'm going to talk about how you do a deload, because I feel like when you would do it, done, at the end of a program now how you would do it so there are two kind of main options you have for a deload one is either to reduce overall volume per session and week or reduce intensity through dropping weight so you would just lift lighter for the week so you could do your normal sessions for a week you would just reduce the weight a lot so if you were doing four sets of five at 80 percent you might do four sets of five at 60 percent so a percentage where those five reps are quite light and quite easy but you're still getting the overall volume in i prefer doing the other way so i will keep weight high i will just reduce overall volume for sessions and therefore overall weekly so i will potentially only do three sets and exercise instead of four or five maybe and i will reduce the reps to a lower rep so in that one to five rep range so the weight can stay high I'm just not doing a lot overall volume and I might do one or two main movements and then just a few accessories just to kind of tick over and get some uh, more injury prevention stuff added because that's usually quite not taxing so you can kind of get some more of that work in where you stay away from the bigger lifts or the uh, repeated lifts at a higher intensity or just check some arms in because at the end of the day arms aren't very taxing and who doesn't love a good arm pump that's right no one and if you do well you're probably a 14 year old child that hasn't been allowed into a gym yet so you haven't experienced such things yeah okay so summer summer to summarize so far you would do a deload at the end of a training block whether that be four six twelve weeks whatever it is as long as it's intense and it was hard you would chuck a deload with sounded weird deload in how you would do it you either reduce overall volume or just reduce intensity through weights so you would lift lighter for your week uh, why would you do it now this leads me on to the why so the why is basically you need to recover so everyone knows about rest and recovery da, 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 yeah but if you're training five six days a week consistently for a period of time and it's intense you might be getting your sleep in check your nutrition might be on point you might be getting your hydration on point everything like foam rolling mobility whatever okay you're nailing it but after a point your body still needs to rest some people may say oh I don't need to rest I'm resting once or twice a week shut up all right I'm not on about that I'm on about you just need a period of time to rest recover or just reduce that's why I like to reduce overall volume so I keep my strength up but I do less during the week so my body can get 
taken a stick. I stick to the same calories, so my food is the exact same, I'm getting the same energy in, I'm just not putting the same energy out, so my body can repair where it hasn't been able to, it, any little niggles kind of go away. Sometimes I even take f two extra days off the week, so I might have four days of the week off through a deload, but the sessions I do will be still quite intense in terms of weight, just not a lot of volume in them. And I just find any niggles I have, so if I had a sore shoulder or wrist or something was a bit at me, after that week, it usually goes away. And because I'm not doing a lot that week, I can spend a bit more time doing some mobility, some injury prevention work, and then come back feeling a bit more fresh and ready to rock and roll again. Why I prefer to a overall rest week and why I come away from doing more rest weeks is I always found I need like a kickstarter week again once I've come off that week. So I haven't trained for a week, I've done nothing, maybe just a little bit of cardio here or stretching there, some mobility there, whatever. But nothing major and haven't really shifted any weights that week. So when it comes back around to the next Monday and I'm a star, I've almost got a, a week where I need to kickstart myself again and almost do a deload week. And then the week after that, then I can start bringing intensity back up and going for it again. So you almost do a rest week then a deload week and then you're back. So that's almost two weeks off full training where I find deload weeks can allow me to just have the one week off and then straight back on, like turn it back up and go for it again. So that's what I quite have come away from rest weeks and I like deload weeks. You don't always have to do a full deload week. As I said, I've done maybe three days worth of training, maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I've had an extra two days off during the week. So you do have some more rest um, or you could just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then rest four days until Monday and you won't have to kickstart yourself because that won't be too big of a rest like so that's why I've come away from that and I prefer it so overall the benefits outweigh the negatives so you're still training you can spend a bit more time looking at different things you overall just want your deload week to not be very intense or if it is intense you just don't do a lot so you either have one end go go keep the intensity high and just don't do a lot so you almost come out of the gym thinking okay lifted heavy but I haven't done anything. You might only do like three exercises, two exercises. Some people only do a deload up to like two sets. So they'll come in, do two sets at say 80 to 90% on bench press and leave. And they come in the next day and do the same for squats. You can go very, very short volume on your deloads or high volumes and just lower weights depending. And that depends on kind of you as a person and what, what state you're in. Like are you not that tired but you just want a bit of a deload to kind of recharge the batteries a little bit or have you trained for 12 weeks super tough and you are knackered you just don't want to kind of lose any strength or you kind of don't want to drop off at all so you do a bit so it, it depends on what how you are coming into it and you as a person because some people recover better than others just naturally some people can take a bit more than others naturally males and females the same can take slightly different variations of intensity better than the other. So I'm going to finish this video there. I just wanted to do a little quick one. Just talk about deloads, why you would do one, how you would do it, and then kind of why. So quickly, quick final summarize, you would do it at the end of a training block or if you feel like you need to do one and you don't want a full rest week, you would either reduce your volume through sessions and overall to a varying degree, or you would just drop weights and do the same volume. So go through the motions, a bit of a pump training maybe. And why you would do them? Longevity helps you go helps you go harder for the next block come off a hard training block have a slight week off and then you're ready to go again rather than burning out so it can help long term a short term it might not help too much but usually I find when I've had a bit of a time off a bit of a week off sometimes I do come back stronger and actually do feel fresh and raring to go you kind of get that mentally the hunger back for it you kind of physically just up stronger because you've had that time to recover so basically the positives outweigh the negatives and I reckon that if you don't do it, you should look to implement it 100%. If you start having rest weeks off, maybe look to change that. And if you do want a complete rest week off and don't really fancy training, go in, just hit like two or three sets at heavy weight and leave. <laughs> You'll feel a bit stupid. But in terms of just keeping your strength at a level, so when you come back the next week, it's not you haven't got to do that kickstart, it will benefit you so much. Um, in my opinion anyway some other coaches may vary but I don't I like it so that's just my cool so if you did like the video hit the thumbs up button please because it makes me feel happy and if you don't then basically I hate you hates a strong word
probably don't hate, but there is a slight dislike to you now that you didn't do that. Just know it, just know it. Um, won't ever tell you that, or I don't know if you did it or not, so basically you're fine, you're fine, but I still, I hate you a little bit. Please comment down if you would like to, share it with your friends, family, and anyone else who might be interested. And subscribe, don't bloody forget to subscribe. It makes me happy when I see that number tick up. Just one by one, just tick up, and it makes me feel amazing. I'm gonna leave, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.